who were political prisoners in a position and with there was no road of escape holding away on their bikes for so long that our shoulders would break inside we were exploding with hate you wouldn't know from our face though we were holding a straight cold in a place cause there was a global trade the blacks in america had driven rights far through us and escaped organizing civil rights march no ira present those that were unarmed but the british soldiers setting in position killing innocents of violence catholic families members dead or wrapped in bondage and they had the audacity to call us salvages no one had the capacity to force to get on saturday that they had their visions regarded as insanity i've tried to leave families can't take the pain but the british still won't take the blame how many lives are gonna have to see can you not understand we got different beliefs in this messed up world only one is speaks and yet again another family are laying down grease it's the people that already died and nothing you can say can be justified and no family involved will ever be the same so put your hands up and take the blame so the civil rights march was sharply interrupted by british soldiers who were on their way to being corrupted taking orders badly and taking all the wrong actions from colonel wolford and captain jackson no civilians had an idea what lay ahead nobody even knew how many be shot dead nobody would have taken risks or taken any chances that they knew the final outcome or the boxing circumstances when the paratroopers were ordered to open fire the bullets rang out like a song of satan's choir and young jackie dotty was the first to be killed and the pirates continued to shoot as if they were thrilled Bernard McGuigan, no courage did he lack Killed one helping Patrick Doherty after he was shot in the back And no mercy was shown, not an ounce of grief Because Brennan was seen waving a white handkerchief Gilmore and Michael Henney were shot on a treat While Michael G. Kelly was shot on his feet Then William Nash and Michael McDade were both shot dead While John P. S. Young was shot in the head Gerald Dunne was shot while trying to run away Wounded and shot in the ground was James Joseph Ray Jared and William McKinney weren't relations, they're brothers But killed just the same with no mercy like the others And poor John Johnson shot in William Street Four and a half months later his death he did meet And what started that day was a dairy revolution And your years of lives wasn't going to help a solution So let the truth be told and let their souls rest in peace And help to let their families deal with their grief And in the future we may be able to see a Monday But we'll never forget the day known as Bloody Sunday How many